Welcome back everybody. In this video we're looking at this tool called PicoCAD and what it is is a tiny modeler for tiny models. So the idea is you can make 3D models as long as they are very small and uh, UV texture them with pixel art and uh, make a nice spinning gif of whatever you created. As you can see here there's, some, there's a toaster, there's some cars uh, and obviously if you know me I love cars. As you can see here, this is the viewport. This is uh, will show different angles of our of our object. If I drag in um, the save files, the save files are text files. This is, so PicoCAD is built off of Pico 8. I think they describe it as a fantasy console, like uh, like how a Nintendo Switch or a Game Boy is a console. This is a fantasy console, so it doesn't actually exist, um, but it's the idea uh, as if it did. Uh, so as you can see here. Um, I've made this uh, Lamborghini Countach uh, using just a single block and extruded and moved around the points. Um, and I'm going to be showing you how you can do something like this today. So if we have a look at this uh, Lord V8 Coupe, which is from uh, my ticket racing game, I recreated it in 3D. If we zoom out here, um, then you can see it's uh, kind of highly detailed, but if you have a look at the wireframe, you can see it's still very basic. Um, and if you know me, then you know that I am actually, I began as a 3D modeler, and I was 3D modeling cars on this channel at the very beginning. So I do understand that this is a very limited and restrictive uh, thing, but I find it quite fun to uh, create stuff in this, especially since you can uh, very easily just export a GIF like this. Um, and then it creates a little spinning uh, thing of your of your model. And it's quite satisfying. So I'll show you how you could make your own. So first of all, it, uh, Pico CAD comes with a um, with a manual, and I recommend you read that. Of course, it tells you some uh, important stuff like you need to keep it very small. Yeah, as you can see, there's different viewports and everything. It tells you everything. There has loads of shortcuts and everything. Um, but we'll keep it very simple in this video. If you guys enjoy this, then I can obviously make another one. But we're going to start by looking at what we want to remake. So I'm going to make this car. Obviously, if you recognize it, it's a Ferrari Testarossa. Uh, and I've copied this image. I got this from uh, theblueprints.com. So I've taken this into GIMP. And basically what I'm going to do is think about how, like, how we can break this up into, basically into sections that we can more easily create a uh, small... Um, you know, kind of like a block out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure the grid to 32 by 32, and I'm going to show the grid, uh, and then I'm going to shrink down this image. So if I create a cube, uh, I think if I add down here a cube, uh, and if I turn it to wireframe, then if we move it up to the axis. So as you can see, when we move it around, it snaps to a grid. And what we're going to do is use this grid to construct our car uh, more effectively and with a plan in mind. So I know from my Countach that was 8 wide and I made another car that was 7 wide. Uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if this is 6 wide, then I already know it's too small. As you can see now, I'm now lining it up with the grid. Um, hopefully the other stuff goes into a two, but I may have to may have to cut this stuff out and then paste it on in a different thing. Okay, now I don't think this is ideal, but it never will be um, because it's such like the resolution is so low that, uh, for example, clicking to this spot here would be quite accurate. But obviously, technically, it could click to this spot, this spot, this spot. Um, so it's Kind of like an artistic choice in which we choose, and that'll make more sense in a minute when I add the the imagined wireframe. Uh, so we're going to use this line here, and we're going to plop that point there. And then obviously we need a floor point, so that's there. And I we're going to imagine this comes down to here, this goes to there, and what this does is create an imagined wireframe for the car. So we're aiming to get something like this, and using the grid. In PicoCAD, we can actually create this ourselves. So if we match this up on here, we can say 
that we have this point here and let's say this point here this point here and this point here so as you can see we're like imagining the shape of the car and what i'm going to do is we're going to do this for the entire car and then i'm going to translate it into picocad okay so as you can see there are three main boxes there's the front engine bit there's the full body and then there's the greenhouse on top um and so if we look at the um above view we can see that um the main shape is created from this extruded up piece that's then been chiseled down to create an extra shape so now in picocad we can now like deconstruct the this car so it's one two three four five six seven wide uh, and so if we take this back to the center we can go one two three four and then on the other side we do three one two three uh, and in the end if we feel like it needs to be wider or shorter we can always just drag the points and bring them back in or drag them out and uh, that's the that's what's so good about 3d modeling it's very easy to change it um, once you're once you're done as long as you keep it very simple and this uh, definitely forces you to do that uh, so obviously i'm in, i'm imagining this is my front um this is my side and this is the top view okay uh, so first we're going to do is create the front so if this is the top then we want to i'm going to move this forward uh, and if this is the top we want to bring this in by one here and here uh, and we also want to make sure that the height is three high one two three one two three and then on the front two on these front two we're just going to bring this down by one and it will create that shape we've we have in the thing so as you can see we've already got like the front nose of the car right here uh if you see right here we have the front nose um and this is exactly what we planned so to extrude the mesh and create like the body we're going to press or right click on the on the face we're selecting and press extrude face uh, and now we've been given a block that uh, perfectly goes on from that uh, and what we're going to do now is extrude it by one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so what we're going to do is bring it back to the original spot and then go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so this is the full length of the car we've just created and i think from that box we don't actually need to do anything else it's just from the top now that we need to extrude this face and then bring it together so we need it we know it needs to go up just a single one so we'll bring that back down to whatever side and then go up one we now know we need to bring this forward three one two three we need to bring this one back one two three four five bring this one back five one two three four five we need to bring the left ones in by one and then you can now see that with this top view is almost exactly this we just need to bring in uh, these points here so by one and by one and now this should resemble exactly what we created so obviously it's not centered so to center it what we're going to do is just zoom out here select everything and then try and move it into the center a bit better you see it's much more centered now uh spins better on the axis but it will never be completely centered because it's four one way and three the other um which obviously isn't possible um but that doesn't matter so what we need to do now is texture it and to do that we are going to create a new file and i'll just make it randomly 128 by 128 we'll probably crop this to uh fit what we need to fit better afterwards but 128 by 128 i'm just going to delete this create a new fresh one and what i'm going to do is i'm going to show a, the grid and i'm going to make the grid i'm going to configure the grid to be two pixels by two pixels uh, and what this does is mean that when we're in PicoCAD, we can press this button here, which brings up the texture. If I uh, press the texture button, 
you can see this is it's referring to the face here. So I think if we press R, it rotates. Um, so we kind of want to. There we go. Yeah. So you see, if we put this in the middle, then half of it is blue and half of it is uh, green. Uh, and the idea is we're going to create our own texture from this stuff, uh, which we can uh, make it look like the car we wanted to make it look like. Uh, and to do that, we just drag it in like I was dragging in the files originally. Um, but first of all, let's think about how this goes. The reason why I have two pixels um, being uh, one block here is because I know that uh, Pico 8 kind of goes in two pixel increments when you're snapping to the grid in the pixel um, in the texturing. So if each of these squares is is basically four pixels, two by two, then we can get a kind of a resolution that is uh, kind of good while also not making too much work for ourselves. So first of all, we definitely want red. This is a Ferrari. So, okay, so this car is 17 uh, blocks wide, let's just say, grid spaces wide, and it's four high. So let's make a 17 by four car or shape here. Okay, so I think this is 17 by four, and uh, we now can think about where the wheels will go. The wheels are very important on a car. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is create some off off blacks, basically grays, uh, and think about where the wheels go. So one, two, three, and then the wheel is like too wide. Uh, one, two, three, and then the wheel is wheel is too wide. Um, so let's imagine that is the wheel, and it's the same at the back, but two, and then the wheel. So two, and then the wheel. And we can also use this to plot where the vents and everything go. And also you can see by half of the car, half of this, you can also see half of this pixel at the bottom is like non-existent. So what I can do is take this screen uh, that, uh, that, you know, is normally uh, transparency in GB Studio and put it at the bottom here. And what that'll mean is in PicoCAD, that will be transparent. And you'll understand what that means a tiny bit later. So we've already uh, come into the problem that it doesn't have enough uh, detail in this um, in this pixel art that we've created. Uh, and that's okay, it doesn't really matter. Um, I just want to show you how this works. And I can come back in the next one and make a more detailed car with you guys based off of this. Um, but this is definitely a place to start. Uh, so I'll keep going and making this uh, work. Okay, so the top turned out to be way simpler than I thought it would be. Um, we may have to add some detail to it later, but I think this is good enough for now. Okay, so I've recreated it as best I can. I think the side, uh, the side thing, this this shape is obviously the most awkward one, um, but I think I'm gonna, you know, use this to create it. Uh, I'm gonna add some more green to this area just so I can use it on the underside of the car. Uh, and then we'll export this. I'm going to actually crop it to the selection, uh, crop to content, sorry, and then save it and export it, and then just drag it into PicoCAD. Okay, so you see my little file here. Just going to drag it in here, and then boom, it's appeared there. And as you can see, it's very small, so we definitely have room to grow and make it more complex in the future. Um, but let's just begin by uh, thinking about how we're going to texture this. So as you can see, as we're hovering over this, we can see it like showing up at the top right over there. Uh, but arguably this bit, this one here, is going to go down here. So we actually need it to be there. And uh, that is this one here. So I think we need to rotate it twice. And that's just by pressing R. I think, yep, I think that worked. I pressed R twice, it rotated it. Um, and then we're just going to drag this into position here, I think. We can try and go one, two, three, four, five. And then it should go perfect. Um, I think we hold X to select more than one. And we move down there. And then let's have a look at this. Okay, so I'm reckoning we want to move this back by one. Oh, I just, yeah, of course. And we also want to move in the top and the bit there. Okay, so that is not what I expected it to be like. I will definitely need to expand out the the white of that and it's very easy to do you just re-drag it in um, but for now let's think about this 
Go C1 at to rotate maybe three times. Let's try once. Okay, once was perfect. So um, let's put it here, and then we want to select these two and put it back to here. Now this is very small, so it's not going to be very good. I'm going to actually drag this one back here. And I'm going to drag this one forward. Okay, I think I selected the wrong one. Yep. So as you can see, it's very awkward uh, working with such small pieces. And I'm actually looking at the model in order to make sure I put this in the correct place. You can see when it's definitely in the wrong place. So I think that's perfect. And let's try this one. That's perfect already. And I think we need to be five away from the edge. One, two, three, four, five. Select both of these. And then we just drag it to the end. Uh, and you can already see that this the green bit is actually showing up as black. And that's obviously because the alpha is this green. And if we change the background, then we can see the uh, it's actually disappearing. And that's what exactly what we, what we wanted to create with that uh, alpha channel being uh, the alpha color being green. And you can see it's already coming together as some kind of car. Uh, it looks a bit out of proportion. It doesn't look quite that good. Uh, but I definitely want to come in and add some more detail to it later down the line. I, I feel you guys are enjoying this, and please let me know in the comments. Okay, I just remade the texture. Um, it's obviously got the better thing now. Uh, I've also turned on the shading, so uh, you can see here the actually brings some darkness to the side of the car as you rotate. Um, and obviously, you can see this does not look like the original car that we uh, wanted to make because this car is more curvy. It has some like indents and stuff. We still made a car. This is, still looks like a car, and I am definitely happy with that. Uh, if anything, we've just created a new looking car, uh, which I'm very happy with. But I would love to come back and make a more complex car view in the future. Uh, but for now, let's. Uh, and then we obviously want to save it and export it as a GIF. And when you export it as a GIF, you can, uh, you know, do it at different speeds. Um, but yeah, uh, that's how you make something in PicoCAD. Um, obviously, you could make more complex stuff than this. This is technically a single cube extru extruded twice. Uh, and obviously, if you are using a real um, 3D modeling engine, um, then you could insert edge loops to go around and increase the detail. You could more easily move it around and have it like zoom in better and everything. Uh, but this this is gives a unique look very easily uh and i'm i'm uh i don't want to use this to relax this is a very relaxing thing to do uh, and if you have any interest in 3d modeling i definitely recommend uh trying this out it's uh free to download uh it's on uh itch they uh they do ask you for a donation if you uh if you enjoy it remember to read the reference manual first before you uh get too stuck in but uh yeah it's very uh, satisfying to uh make something 3d i think you can export it as an actual 3d model um you have to use the exporter i haven't used that before but uh, i think it comes uh, with it when you download it um yeah i'll put my patrons up on the screen right now thank you so much to you guys i hope you like this different content today i uh, tried something slightly different and i uh, would happily uh, do this kind of stuff in the future just uh, break up the gb studio Remember to like the video if you like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Please comment on what you want to see next and what you thought of this video, and I'll see you in the next video.